In this video, we'll be talking about how you can make the most out of your online courses and improve your sales by using an e-commerce plugin. We'll walk you through the process of integrating one of the most popular e-com solutions out there for WordPress, WooCommerce, with your LearnDash LMS, Learning Management System. What's up everyone, welcome back. You're here with the Woo Ninjas, your trustworthy team of WordPress, e-learning, and e-commerce experts. Before we jump into the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're interested in getting more content about WordPress and building online course businesses. And don't forget to write a comment, ask any comment or any question you might have, even if you have any suggestions for videos you want to see in the future, we're happy to hear them. So let's jump right into it. So you may be wondering, why would you ever connect LearnDash with WooCommerce, a shopping plugin? Well, the truth is it creates a very good checkout experience along with a lot of other integrations that it allows. So let's jump into the nine reasons why to use WooCommerce with LearnDash. So first off, WooCommerce is built for payments. LearnDash isn't so much. So we'll show you some graphics down here. It allows you to connect to a ton of different payment gateways. So if you want to accept Stripe, connect to Google Ads, Amazon Pay, Square, any of these payment methods, WooCommerce is a solution that really helps seamlessly integrate that into your LearnDash checkout experience. Also, you can integrate your LearnDash with your CRM platforms and they have Salesforce, they have you know WP, ERP, a bunch of other plugins and CRMs that allows you to integrate with, which makes tracking your clients and your client journey much easier. It also lets you sell physical products or any other product. So if you are selling online course and maybe you have a booklet or a guide you want to sell that's physical, this WooCommerce plugin allows you to sell that as well. And most affiliate programs allow you to integrate with WooCommerce. So if you have other people that are promoting your content and they're taking a piece or you're giving them a percentage, WooCommerce allows you to track that and integrate that. And also a really important thing is being able to do upsells, bumps, and other revenue boosters. Because when people are going through the shopping experience and the checkout experience, right before they're about to check out, if you offer a you know cheaper upsell or a downsell, it really helps increase your average shopping cart checkout and really boost your top line revenue. Also, if you really wanna get into the nitty gritty of it and you wanna actually really optimize your checkout process, WooCommerce allows you to customize your actual checkout experience, which can also increase revenue. And you will have full control of the full checkout process. And that's what they also allow. And we did touch on physical products and being able to sell courses, but you can also bundle them together where you sell physical products, say a notebook, a calendar, with your actual course and it gives you many more options for how to sell more. So now we're gonna just show you a backend tutorial of what you need to do inside of WordPress to make this all happen. So the first thing we do is we go to our general dashboard, go to settings, general, and we make sure we have this box ticked, which is membership, anyone can register, and always good to go down and click save changes because sometimes we forget that and then the setting doesn't get saved. All right, so this next part assumes that you already have LearnDash LMS pre-installed. If you don't already, we have other videos and there's other videos on YouTube. So we're gonna just go to LearnDash and then go down to add-ons and make sure we click on that. This is the area where we need to enable the WooCommerce add-on. So you can see right here that I already have WooCommerce for LearnDash uh, installed. But the next thing you do is you have to click this activate button. And remember, you just go look down for WooCommerce, click on the install button, then it shows up in the installed area. Then you click activate. After you've done that, you've done the first step of the process. All right, now the next thing we gotta do is we actually have to install WooCommerce as a plugin on our WordPress site. So we've added it to the Learn Dash. So now we go over here to plugins. And we're gonna add a new plugin. Remember, go to dashboard first. Then we search for WooCommerce. All right, it shows up right here. We have already installed it, but this is all you have to do. Just click install now. You don't necessarily need to do this one yet. We'll just do the main WooCommerce plugin. I'm gonna update mine in this example. If you already have it installed, make sure you update it too. All right, so it's been updated. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so we have it installed, but then we have to go to plugins, install plugin, find out where it is, WooCommerce, and go over and click activate. So you may or may not get this as a notification, just make sure you update the WooCommerce database too. 
if you need to. So it is updating in the background, but now this is where we fill in all of our information, our address information, our some product information shipping. So we'll just get into filling this out really quick. All right, so we continue to fill out some of these different questions, selling locations, selling to all countries. If it's a digital product, very easy to say all countries. If it's a shipped product, you probably have to think a little bit more. So this is to all countries, and then you can choose your specific country and customer location. Enable taxes. See, this is the benefit of WooCommerce is it gives you all these abilities. Your currency, the dollar, how do you wanna you know, do the details? That's great, so always make sure you save changes. And you can go all the way across here to fill out all the different info you need for setting up your uh, WooCommerce. Also, you can click on WooCommerce in general right here and it gives you a really crisp interface of how far you've gone along the process, what you need to do, what you've completed. So for this case, you can view your options. Okay, we've added some store details, we've added some products. Now we get to set up payments. So this is also a crisp way of going through a very uh, similar process. So we'll go to click set up payments. Thank you. So before we jump into payments, I did want to mention if this ever gets too complicated for you or you get stuck somewhere, we're always here to help. We help with WooCommerce and Learn Dash, specifically where Woo Ninjas. Check a link in the description. We can help you set it up from idea to actually implementation, or if you just need a little help uh, on a couple fixes, we can do that too. So check the link in the description. Uh, back to here, so we're in payments right now, and we're gonna get started. This is where you can accept all these amazing forms of payment. Visa, MasterCard, Amex, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and some ones that I don't know, even uh, some different Chinese forms of payments, Diners Club, and a bunch of others. Just let this install the payments gateway. All right, now we're gonna configure our WooCommerce payment account. Okay, so now we're in the WooCommerce payments wizard to set everything up. So this is the first step. You add your email, click continue. Um, you would then log into your WordPress account. So if you don't already have an account, make sure to click create a new account down here and just fill out the info. So we just click create our account, uh, let that load, and it's gonna take us right into the wizard right now. All right, we just start going through the process, throw in a phone number. Now, after you click continue, uh, you're gonna actually get a text verification. So this is where you fill out all the information to sign up for your Stripe integration with WooCommerce payments. So I'm not gonna take you through this whole thing. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of private details, but you just go through the process, individual, choose your country, you just keep going through, and then you get to a place where you actually get approval with uh, WooCommerce payments. Okay, so since we just kind of sped through that last one of actually setting up Stripe in this example, we set up the WooCommerce payment, so that is now checked off. And we're gonna add tax rates. So you can choose whichever one is more suitable for you. I'd look into both. For this example, I'm gonna do this. There was also an option at the bottom to set it up manually, which gets a little bit more difficult. But sometimes using the uh, Jetpack integration makes this a lot easier. Or you can just simply go, I don't charge sales tax. But make sure you don't before you click that. All right, so now we're off to the next section, which is get more sales. Don't we all want that? And this is a great, this is one of the other things that WooCommerce allows you to do. It allows you to integrate uh, social media platforms. So whether that be Google Ads, TikTok, Facebook, um, or Pinterest directly into the actual thing that you are selling or marketing, which makes it a lot easier. Also, you can reach out via MailChimp, Creative Mail, and MailPoet. So that's more of a direct mail approach to selling items. So in this case, we are not gonna integrate any of these right now. And now you can go to personalize your store and go to create the homepage or you can just skip this for now if you don't wanna jump into this step. But for the sake of this video, let's just quickly add an image. It's gonna be just called logo, just as a holder for anything else. Display a prominent notice across the page of your store. We'll just say something like, Welcome, please buy now. So just a placeholder, just to show you as an example. All right, so we've checked most of these boxes off, which is great. Also, as we scroll down our inbox, we're gonna look at uh, sell worldwide in multiple currencies. So we're gonna click on this. Maybe you're just US-based or Canadian-based and you just sell to that market. But if you're going for the globe, it would be helpful to set up currency options for your biggest potential buyers. Maybe it's the UK pound, maybe it's the Euro, maybe it's the US dollar and have these all integrated. And they actually already pre pretty much the biggest buyers in the e-commerce space, which is Euro, Japanese Yen, British pound, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, Indian rupee. You can even add more obscure currencies down here. We go down to add the currencies. And this is also nice. It automatically switches to the local customer's currency. If this is enabled, it helps people like 
sometimes if you know you or i go to a site and we usually buy dollars and you see euros or pounds it's hard to convert you don't know what the price is so this really helps them go oh here he is in rupees now i know exactly the price setup complete so go back home all right the other great option is you turn browsers into buyers with pay later so you know, I'll just read this to you. This is a, a new PayPal um, option they allow at checkout. It allows them to buy now and pay later in installments. And you actually, it builds trust through actually using PayPal as the middleman that will promise that you get those four payments monthly or whatever payment system they choose to do. So this is quite popular in certain countries where the inflation rate's high, Turkey or Argentina. But you would go through this whole process right here to accept this PayPal later option if you wanna do that. So, and in order to do that, make sure you click the free download and then go through the quick process. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that. Also, down in the inbox, it's really important that you set up your refund policy. Remember, if you really believe in your product, which you should, a refund policy is always a great way to make people take that first step and buy the product. Um, whether you want to have a certain time period or unlimited refund policy, it's really important that you would integrate the refund policy. So this is how you actually inform your customers about the refund. It's not as integrated as you may think. It's always important to actually put it in the item listing. So they give you two options. They say, adding the policy listing in the menu in your store obviously or adding it to the confirmation email where they get the product and then that is the warranty and if you need a little bit of inspiration for like what would a warranty be they do recommend looking at their policy and they do a 30 day money back so if you want 15 5 7 40 whatever day policy is comfortable for you this is a good template to start off and change the days accordingly and then you would then process those refunds manually if they ever came back so Continuing to go down on the inbox, all the settings that it's really good to check on before you finish this process is save time on shipping. And pretty much what this is, is if you have a physical product, this is a drop shipping offer. So automate my shipping means uh, you would give your products to them as one of their partners as a fulfillment provider. And you could see if that is something you wanted to do if you had a physical product. So jump into this if this is something that does uh, interest you. And they also have different shipping methods. They integrate with USPS, UPS, FedEx all the big guys also we need to do another setting uh, so we go to WooCommerce settings go to accounts and privacy uh, make sure that you allow the customers to log into an existing account during checkout and we'll just check all these boxes boop and it allows them to use an account for checkout and just make sure you go to the bottom and click save because it does not automatically save. So now I'm in uh, settings over to payments and this is where we already kind of set up to the wizard but if you ever had an issue with the wizard setup you can actually go back here and choose if you want to enable a WooCommerce payments but for this case we're going to do just credit card and debit card. This is the fee Yes, it's 3% plus 30 cents. And uh, also we have uh, Google Pay and Apple Pay quick checkout enabled. Uh, you can even link your Stripe right here. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And just make sure you save changes. Okay, so now we are in the actual course, how to run Facebook ads, going down to settings. Then we go over to closed. Uh, so the course price we had listed was $7. And then the course uh, URL button was that link we copied from the last one. Just make sure there's not a space in the beginning, which there is, delete that. And then we're gonna go ahead and update. So this is what you have to do to kind of connect LearnDash over to the WooCommerce. Okay, so right now we are in um, the product page and what we can see is, and this is the really nice interface that you can see in stock, price, all these things. Uh, what we do see is we do not have a cover image uh, to actually show our product so it's always very helpful to have that so just go to edit and this is where you do it you set the product image we do have um, you can put an image down here for the description but sometimes it helps to have it in both places so we're gonna set the product image click on that here is our product image we're gonna set that as the image might not be the best aspect ratio because it could be square by default, but that'll be good for now. We're gonna go ahead and update, perfect. Now, if we go back to our products, you'll be able to see it. Perfect, there it is. So let's click on that, and you'll be able to see the hyperlink that actually links you to the product page right here, right there. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. See, so doesn't look, look nice, Facebook ads course. This is where you put more image description on your actual ad, other related products that are also being sold. And we go ahead and add this to cart. I think it already is in the cart. So let's just go check on our cart. And this is the beautiful interface that WooCommerce allows you to have. So 
we'll go ahead and go to checkout. So you got the course, you got the price, you got all this checkout information. Uh, you fill in your information and then you click submit your order. So this is uh, the beautiful part of connecting a WooCommerce to LearnDash. Uh, the checkout experience is much more crisp than just LearnDash on its own. So now you should have a good understanding of how to set up a WooCommerce mixed with LearnDash uh, course. And if you ever have any challenges, we're always here to help. We're WooCommerce. We've been around for actually over seven years, thousands of customers. And what we can do is either help you set it up from the ground up. You have an idea, a course and content. We can help you make that happen with WordPress, LearnDash. WooCommerce, BuddyBoss, whatever integrations you want or whatever integrations you think would be the best, we can help you choose those. And if you have any questions, just reach out to us here. Even if you're stumped, we can help you on, a, on an hourly basis. So if that's something you're interested in, great. Look forward to speaking with you. Uh, if not, uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. We're making a lot of content on WordPress, e-commerce, and LearnDash. So we're your experts here to help and see you guys in the next video.